The reggae boys were a no-show at a scheduled pre-match training session at the National Stadium today. Jerome Foster went to the Courtyard Marriott Hotel, where the team is staying, before heading to the stadium to confirm their absence from training. So it's now five minutes after six Jamaica time. At this stage, the reggae boys, they should have been at the National Stadium in a light session ahead of that CONCACAF Nations League encounter against Suriname. But at this point, nothing is moving. The team bus, as you can see behind me, has been there for the last 40 minutes. No sign of any players who are interested in going to the stadium. Well, we caught up with three of them, not willing to speak, three English-based players. That's Amari Bell, Jamal Lowe and Rolando Aarons. They left earlier in a private taxi, not sure where they have gone to. We have also seen a couple of the players. They were in the lobby, that's Ravel Morrison and Amal Knight. No signs of the others, where well, there are a couple of masseurs and physical trainers around as well. But all of this is stemming from the fact that the players have understood that the general secretary, Dalton Wint, he has not resigned as yet, and they are standing off. They are saying it's either Dalton Wint resigns or they won't train, and sending a signal that they might not even play that much tomorrow at the National Stadium. So we journeyed here at the National Stadium just to get confirmation that the reggae boys did not turn up for training on the eve of that CONCACAF Nations League encounter against Suriname here at the National Stadium. Everything was ready on this green patch of grass. It looks slick and it looks ready for action, but nobody to turn up and play on it. At this point, the reggae boys, from my understanding, got news that Dalton Wint decided that he will not resign after the executive meeting at the JFF. Secondly, the players were also told from my information, from my credible sources, that Mr. Wint was going to be suspended indefinitely. News channeled back to the players and they said, we ain't leaving. So at this point, we don't know if the match will go ahead tomorrow between Jamaica and Suriname here at the National Stadium. One thing for sure, the surface is ready and the production team is also putting things in place to get things ready. And the reggae boys no-show at training this evening could be seen as a surprise after defender Damon Lowe told TVJ Sports this morning that the players were committed to Tuesday's match despite the impasse with the federation. Lowe spoke to TVJ Sports on arrival at the Norman Manley International Airport. That's an in-house matter. Um, the players are focused on the game right now. Um, that's not something we want to speak about. The Federation is aware of uh, everything that's going on. Um, it's nothing new. I'm sure you guys are aware of some stuff also. But again, like the players just want to you know, get the three points tomorrow um, to get back to winning ways and get back on track in qualifying for the next round of the Nations League and the Gold Cup.